So, me and Bobby are on an adventure today. We came to the graveyard of cars. And we're gonna look around. They never have Integras here, but they always have Hondas. And so a lot of the parts are interchangeable. And I'm gonna see if we can find anything cool today. I just ordered a new radiator because mine's had a hole in it for like three weeks. I found it last week, patched it with some JB Weld. I ordered a three row um, half size radiator, came with a fan. So we're gonna look around and see what I can find. First one we found is an old Honda D series. It's gonna pass. Hold the hood for me, Bob. It is single overhead cam. I don't like that at all. Um, battery, regular radiator. You can see they still got power steering. I don't think there's AC though. If there is, I don't see it. Um, yeah, D Series VTEC. No good. All right. Pretty sure this is a Honda. Uh oh. It's got some uh, Ractive seats. I mean, these aren't bad. I mean, of course, it's, they're dirty right now. That one's fucked up from getting in and out. Hi. That one's messed up from getting in and out, but that's normal. Uh, I like these bolsters, though. That's what these are called as bolsters. Um, I don't like the color, though. It's like a faded green. Of course, that might just be from... No, it's not just from pollen. Um, hey, grab that Honda emblem. Put that in your pocket. I need one of those. I, uh, Pop the hood for me. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's already popped. Yeah, Probably not even an engine. Probably, Probably not even an engine in this one. I don't know. D series. Everything's gone. Not even a it's got some nice little headers on it though. It's not even a yeah, it's already got headers on it. Anyway, coming down. Ass. I don't like the seeds. Oh, it's an Acura though, bro. Homie, I got an Acura. Acura is made by Honda. Oh, where we at? Uh, that's it. Should be right. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. wow. Look at that sucker. What is this? Oh, it's okay. See, look. Honda coat. Boom. 3.2 valve V6. Oh, I don't know anything about these. Like I said, I just know Acura is made by Honda. That's a big engine though. It's a big block. No, it's definitely not a big block, but. Uh, it's around a big block. Maybe a medium block. <laughs> anyway, looking for like a, a serial, serials like B18B1 on the block somewhere. I don't see it nowhere. I've got all these covers. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into this one. I don't know anything about it. It's all good. Welcome back. We're looking for stuff for my engine right now. I'm okay. not doing a swap. What does it say? It's, uh, Hold this. Let me see. Right there. See it? It's a C32, which means it's a 3.2 liter C series engine. I don't know nothing about C series engines. Nope. Close it. Ooh, what is it? Probably a cord. Any good seats in it? No trans, yeah, it's got a transmission. Oh, another D, another D series. Was this uh? Oh no, these are B. I'm lying. B16. That's what they are. I keep saying D series because I'm thinking of like a Del Sol. No, that's a B16, 1.6 liter. Um, these come with half size radiators. Honestly, you can put one of these in my car, but I'd rather just get an all aluminum high flow. I love these boxes though because then you can put a hood scoop in and make it come through through the roof so if i wanted to put one of these in that would be dope because mine on my integra does come this way and then goes down through this porthole and pulls from here the resonator is down here that's what this is it just pulls air um so i guess yeah you can totally relocate these put a hole in the roof 
and just make it pull through here like a like a Subaru. Yeah. Another one. Oh, these are all hunters. Yeah. You got it? This one's messed up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, here we go. That's what we need. <laughs> nope. Nothing in this one. Acura. Did we check this one? Uh. This is a Honda. Huh? Oh no. Come on now. It's another single overhead cam. Um, nothing aftermarket on it. Worth grabbing. That's it. Close it. Yeah, I sit here laughing so hard. Swallowed the gum. Another single overhead cam. No headers on it. You got gloves on, Bobby. No, never mind. I'm just saying, like, whenever you get here, oh, it's got the, the fuel injection. Oh, yeah. What is it, though? It's uh, Which block? It's right there on that square part. Wipe it off with the glove. No, no, down. The big square part right there. Can you see it? Uh, it's a D six seventy D. Well, it's D something. It's like a D one point something. I mean, of course, it's a single red cam, but it's a D series engine. So this is what D I was thinking it was coming from Del Sol. Ooh, here's a D prelude. D seventeen A. Oh, this is a two point so it's gonna be like D seventeen A. Okay. All right. D seventeen A. The prelude. All good. I'm not. I'm not trying to do an engine swap right now. I'm really just looking for parts. Is this a Honda? These things are so I can't even tell. Yeah, it is. It's another one. It's a D17 A1 as well. There you go. I can tell you green kids about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Like if I ever like got a Del Sol and blew the engine up, I'd, I'd probably come here and get an engine for it. But... Let me look at that again. What was it? D seventeen A one. These little. They put two intake gasket or exhaust gaskets on. All right, we'll be back when we find another one. So not only are we looking for Hondas and Acuras right now to maybe find some performance parts on some of these told engines, but if we can find any cars that are worth, like if you find a Del Sol that's not that badly wrecked that maybe just needs an engine or a front end, or if we can find a Toyota MR2, um, there's just a couple of these different cars I've been looking for here. Um, even another Integra, a two-door. I'll buy the whole car. That's, that's why we're here. Um, I got Mustangs that are totaled. Let me show you. Princess is just having a blast. Anyway, Mustangs, Ford, they do pretty good at organizing them all. Jeeps, minivans, Cobalts, Chevy Cavaliers, Expeditions. Anyway, I'll be back. So, I've been walking now for about seven, ten minutes. When we talked to you guys earlier, we were over here at the corner of this building, looking around. Walked all the way to that corner down there a couple hondas mostly d series um a c series whatever that is um now we're gonna go back to this area which is usually where they have the goodies um i saw an mr2 here one day but it was completely totaled um a couple hondas I saw one car that was completely it was riced up for sure but the amount of work they had put into it was crazy so look around what is this it's a toyota's it looks like a what what is this look at the back the red one huh yeah. is it an mr2 GCS. yes it's a celica, celica. toyota celica the gts 
Um, see if this has an engine in it. Go pop the, oh, I'll pop the hood. Oh, it does, it's a 2.2. I don't really know how I feel about these though. Anyway, I'll pass. But all this or nothing. All right, so, like I said, I'm not really looking for engine swaps unless I find something like really nice, like one of those other models of cars, not a Supra that has the two JZ in it. If I found one of those, I'd buy the whole car. I'm just like, yeah, I just, I just want the car. Um, this is actually where I bought my rims and tires that you guys saw in the last video. Um, where I was putting on the new brakes and rotors. They had the full setup there. Um, she was like, 200 bucks, you can have them all. I was like, all right, deal. So, anyway, we're headed over to that section over there. Just rolled up on this thing. It's an Acura. <sighs> Got a nice emblem on the back. 3.0 CL. Can you pop it? Uh, ain't no telling what's in these. I don't. I don't really know. I know it's a 3.0, but oh yeah, I wouldn't mind putting that in my car. 3.0 VTEC. Right there, it's where it needs to be wiped off. I can learn more about the engine later. I got the hood. If you need to get like a piece of grass or something, scratch it with your finger. I need the left side. I just need like the first three digits. First three. Yeah. It's probably a J series. Yeah. Yeah, J. Looks like J three O. Probably because it's it's a 3.0. So three. Oh yeah, J30A1. Cool. Yeah, it's V6. I like that. Uh, let's see what else we can find. This one has the little hood catchers. Of course, it is a a D17. So we got a. All right. Nothing worth about you there. Any good seats in those now? No, I want like racing seats or like leather, leather Acura seats. Hyundai. Yo. CRV. Where? Over here. These have the, uh, my, uh, what are they called? What engine is it? Oh, damn, I can't remember. B20, yes, that's what I need. I have a B18, this is a B20. So this, this is the engine you need? Yeah, this is the engine that I was gonna buy that other Integra, just because it had this engine in it. It's a 2.0, mine's a 1.8. Of course, right now I'm telling how this is treated. Hey, also if we find like a nice, nice dipstick, I'll take another dipstick. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, these go good in those little Hondas. Brand new radiator, it looks like. I don't want that, though. But yeah, it's a B20. Yo, it's still here. Look at it. Oh yeah, someone got the head off of it. I really just wanted the body. I would put like a, a Honda engine, you know. But I love these body styles. The square body with the, the two door. No back seat. But it is gone. Anyway. There's the Honda right here, isn't it? Yeah. Impounded. 2.3 liter. Automatic, good transmission. V-Tech. F-Series. Nah. 
I'm a B-series, baby. Nothing good in there. It's another <laughs> single overhead cam. Doesn't matter what it is, I really don't care. V6, whatever that is. That's a Mitsubishi Galant. All right, all right. Yo! Celica. It is. Tell by the headlights. These have decently nice seats. Uh, um, what is this again? I don't remember. All right, so we looked around. Um, nothing really that we found that we wanted. Um, they did have a CRV B20 that I liked, but I'm not gonna do a motor swap. So we'll figure that out later. All right, we just left. Uh, Joe Boys, that's what it's called, the Pull It Place. I went ahead and asked him about the B2001 Honda CRV, B20 engine. Said I want the whole thing, engine, all the components. She uh, she said 550, but um, I don't know if that's a good deal or not. So I just get some information, find out what parts, see if there's any nice engines, learn the model number, and then I can go home and do research on them. Unless I see something I really, really want, like a good header, like good seats I'll go ahead and grab them kind of like I did with the wheels so adventure's over um, I got some clear coat for my car so I can sand down my mirrors and repaint them and my spooler and repaint them because I didn't put clear coat clear coat on them originally and it's fading a little bit I found the car that I wanted is a uh, a daily driver if I have to put this in the shop to rebuild it or to throw a turbo kit on it and something and I can't finish it in time it is a um, 2008 Infinity G35 S if I can get a picture in the video I'll post it right now it's uh, at a place that's a buy here pay here I don't really do financing anymore I went through that with my ex and then my last girlfriend not doing that again just i make this much money a month i will give you this much money for your car month do we have a deal looks like i got scratches on them that bothers me hey hey yeah there's like scratches right here me and bobby are headed to eat i don't know where yet on the border applebee's chilies long john silvers lubies papacitas Bubba's? I think Bubba's is nice. Let's go get some chicken. Yeah, split a 20 piece. Get some more of that habanero heat and some raspberry chipotle. Uh, yeah, that's the one I use again.
face because everything there is just. Well, I mean, their taco meat eat also, man. Oh, yeah, I believe it. It was horrible. Nope. I mean, there was no taste to it. It was just all you tasted was meat. It was horrible. It was too soggy for one. How were you supposed to eat? I'd get as close to the curb as possible. That way, give that car some more room. When we stop, I'll go ahead and show you guys my uh, my radiator. That way you guys will understand why exactly I bought another one. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to help you out, baby. I'm trying. I'm getting a little old. As you can see right here, I'm turning this around so it doesn't auto rotate. I'm leaking, you can see the fluid right there. But I just coated it in JB Weld. But I went ahead and ordered a new radiator. Like I said, a three row full of aluminum, high flow. Um, so, we'll see how it does. Anyway, we're gonna go eat. Battery low. So we came over to Bubba's, uh, Bubba's 33. Got some raspberry chipotle wings with some, what, kicking teriyaki? Yeah. Bobby's already had a couple beers. Now he wanted to start trying fruity drinks. I'm just drinking some jam and blackberry lemonade. All right, Bobby, go ahead. See your first reaction. How was it? Good. It's not as strong. No. Yeah, a little more fruity, that's why. What all alcohol is in that? I mean, I can't really taste that. It's got a uh, cherry grenadine and blue curaco. That's the I can't taste. All right. All right, there we go. So now Bobby is drinking a Lone Star after he finishes margarita. And I got an Angry Orchard just because I kind of wanted something sweet. There is a car show tonight in Nacogdoches. It's about an hour and a half drive. My buddy Hunter said he's going. I told him I'd go ahead and take the GoPro, film some cars. But I don't really want my, my car shown because I haven't done enough to it yet. And I'm still working on it. I've got a couple problems right now. But I'll go for sure. See if I can find another Acura. That'd be cool. All right. So we just got done eating. We are going to... Go to the house, charge the GoPro. It's at like 0%. And then we're going to meet up with Hunter at Walmart to wash our vehicles in an hour, like 45 minutes. And then we're gonna head to Nacogdoches, which is about an hour and a half drive away to go to a car meet. So that's the plan. My car is absolutely filthy. I mean, just covered. Anyway. Yo! So, I was sitting at Starbucks, organizing all my videos from the video you just watched, and all the footage from the car meet I'm about to go to, and I realized there's too much footage to put it all in one video. So what I decided is, I'm gonna have the adventure we went on at Joe Boy's in one video, and then I'm gonna make another video for the car meet itself, so I can do a montage, I can show some of the cars, I can show us racing on the way home. They did the car meet at nighttime, however, so I don't know how well that footage is actually gonna turn out. So I wanna for sure get the one good video of us at Joe Boys published, uploaded, and then I'll try to make all the stuff from the car meet work out. If nothing else, I'll just make some clips for my boy, Hunter, and send them to him so he'll have it. But in the process of organizing all the footage, I realized I didn't do an outro, so, Thanks guys for watching the video. I didn't really find anything I needed at the car graveyard. Thanks everybody for watching the video. I will leave a link to my Instagram, my personal Instagram, It's Giggles, my car page, East Texas Tuners. I will also leave Hunter's Instagram in the description down below. And what else? Yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. 
tell me if there's anything you guys think I should do to my car. I haven't done a lot of performance to my car because, like I said in the video earlier, I don't know what my second car is going to be, whether it's going to be the one that I fix up or whether this is going to be the one that I soup up that I'm currently in. So, tell me what you think in the description down below if you know a good car I should buy, um, cheap, under 2000 or if you know anything I should try to put on this car.